morning, New Life, and welcome to New Life's News Break. Here's what's going on in and around New Life Birmingham. The next Healing and Miracle Deliverance service will be held on February 28, 2016 at 5 o'clock p.m. So please invite a friend out to hear a dynamic word from the Lord. And now to our pastor for this very special testimony time. Hello and welcome again to Testimony Time. And boy, do I have a really exciting testimony for you today. I have with me Evangelist Nicole Sloan and her son Cortland. And uh, I want to start this off and just kind of set this up the other day. You know, first of all, you know, we usually give some type of testimony about finances and what God is doing for finance. But you know, I'm going to tell you, God is doing a lot of other things as well. And we're going to share it today, starting with you, uh, Nicole. You said the other day, matter of fact, you texted me and said, Listen, uh, we've been to the doctor and I want you to pray for my son, Cortland. You kind of take it from there. Right. Well, um, let's see. About two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, Cortland, he got up one morning and I probably should let him tell part of this, but um, got up one morning and he said, Mama, my neck is bothering me. You know, so I said, well, um, you sleep so wild. <laughs> I said, you probably just have a crook in your neck. He said, yeah, I do. You know, he kind of moved it around. So that was maybe, <clears throat> I'd say Tuesday of that week. And so later on in that week, maybe around Friday, he was still having the pain. And so I said, well, take some Advil, you know, mm -hmm. for it. I said, it's probably just still bothering you from when you slept wrong or whatever. And I said, take your Advil. And I said, well, come here for a second. And I said, well, let me just, you know, check you out. So when I did, um, I put my hands up to his neck, you know, and um, immediately, I didn't have to feel for anything. As soon as I touched him, I felt a knot on the right side of his, his neck. And mm -hmm. I said, ooh. You know, I said, you don't need to get that checked out. He went to the doctor Monday, and the doctor told him, well, I'll let him tell that part, tell what the doctor said yeah, to so, you. Uh, Monday, I went to the doctor, and he was basically, he touched it, and he was like, ooh, that's, that's not normal. He was like, we're going to get you uh, a CT scan, and we're going to uh, get you checked out. So Tuesday, he went to the CT scan, <clears throat> got that checked out, and they were like, the doctor would get the report Thursday. So Thursday, he went to the doctor, he was like, um, he didn't know what it was. He couldn't even say what it was. He didn't know if it was cancer, you know, what it was. And then he finally said, uh, we're gonna have to have surgery to remove it. So they called us for the other scan. We went this past Monday. But during the weekend, um, of course, being the mom that I am, I um, I had already posted healing scriptures all over his room. <laughs> and I said, every time you open your eyes, you look at these and you read them out loud and you say these healing confessions out loud. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, and every time I see you, even if you're in, in, no matter what time it is in the house, if I feel like laying hands on you and praying for you, I am. Mm -hmm. And so every time I laid hands on him, I commanded it to shrink in wow, Jesus' name. Wow. We prayed and I had some of my friends come over that weekend. Mm -hmm. And um, my mom and, and two of us, mm -hmm. we you would have thought it was 100 women in my house because <laughs> we prayed. We wow, prayed and we wow. believe God and you know, um, even Cortland, Cortland tell them yeah, what you yeah, did after uh -huh. the, uh, after your appointment well, that after, Thursday. That Thursday I went to I went to Annex Six and I sat down on the first on the first pew and I was like, God, I just give this to you because I just put I activate my faith and I'm gonna allow you to do what you do <clears> because you are God. <throat> and so I I declared that day I wouldn't take any more Advil for the rest of that week and that I was healed. Monday we went for the CT scan and uh, they got the results back to the doctor by Tuesday. So the doctor's office called me Tuesday and I was out. Um, I had a, actually was on the phone with my mom and I said, well, let me catch this call. And um, doctor, the nurse answered the phone. She said, well, she, she said, Ms. Sloan, Dr. Cooper would like to talk to you. And so um, he said, well, Ms. Sloan, how are you? I said, I'm great, how are you? And he <laughs> said, well, I want to talk to you. He said, well, initially when Cortland had his scan, he said, this thing was four and a quarter centimeters. Wow. That's very large. Wow. And he'd even said that in, in, in the exam. He said, but yesterday when we did the exam, he said, it has shrunk down to not even a centimeter. It's gone. It's like it's gone. Wow. And he was so puzzled, Pastor. Wow. I mean, he didn't even know what to say. He didn't wow. know what to think. So four and a half centimeters down to Four and a than... quarter centimeters wow. down to literally nothing. And now, of course, it's gone. Mm. And um, nothing but the power of God. Let's go back to what happened. Let's mm -hmm. see how we got this miracle. Mm -hmm. You got it by... First of all, uh, interceding yourself, right? Then calling others in to intercede with you, mm -hmm. and then you claiming what everybody's mm -hmm. interceding for, right? Yeah. So faith, faith was everywhere, right? Exactly. So it's, it was nowhere for the devil to work, right? Exactly. He professed his faith, and well, we all were standing in agreement, well, and, and we knew that it was already done. I, well, thank you again for coming. I appreciate you guys oh, sharing this, and because it's going to bless somebody else, absolutely. it really is. Amen. Now back to you, Melanie. Thank you for that very special testimony. Remember. 
Grab a partner and bring them out to Bible study on Wednesday nights. Our pastor is asking everyone to attend Bible study. So let's make a commitment this year to attend Bible study. Again, that is on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock p.m. Also, your end of the year statements are available for pickup. If you would see Sister Courtney or stop by the office for your end of the year statements. And remember to keep all of those who are on the prayer list in your prayers. And now back to our service. 